we'll start today's maitri milan session settle down sit direct close your eyes adopt namaskara we'll start with three omkaras inhale oh शांति मंत्र हो सहना सहनौ सह वीर करवाहै तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा योग गणपति मूल मंत्र ओ हम संगम भगवते नित्य योग युक्ताय सच्चिदानंदिणे विनायकाय नम दक्षिण मूर्ति गुरु स्त्रोत्र ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम स्वामी विवेकानंद प्रार्थना नम श्रीयतिराजा विवेकानंदसूर ये सच्चिसुखस्वूपय स्वामी नेतापहारिणे स्वामी नेतापहारिणे सामरस प्रेयर फॉर हामिनी फ्रॉम ऋग्वेदा ऑल टुगेदर संगच्छम संवदत्व संवो पूर्वे ए संजाना उपासते समानो मंत्र समित सामनी सनम मन सह चिमेशा सनम मन मंत्र सामनेन वो हविषा जुहोमि सामनी व आकूति सनादया वह सनमस्तु वो मन यथावस्सु सहासती पंचांगम अद्यतन पंचांगम चतुर्वशत्यधिक एकशतोत्तर पंचसहस्रतम कलियुगा श्री शुभकृतनाम संवत्सर उत्तरायण शिशिर ऋतु फागुनमास शुक्लपक्ष षष्टीतिथि भरणी नक्षत्र ब्रह्मयोग कौलवकर्ण मंदवासर टुडे इज डेट ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ फेब्रवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी तिथेश्रिय वारादायुष्यवर्धन नक्षत्राधरते पापम योगा द्रोग पंचांग फलमु 
सर्वेशाम शुभमस्तु श्लोक श्लोक फ्रॉम भगवदगीता सतया श्रद्धया युक्त तराधनमीहते लभते चतत्काम मयि वह विहिता हिता मीनिंग एंड डोट विथ फेथ द डिवोटी वर्शिप्स अ पर्टिकुलर सिलियल गॉड सिलेस्टियल गॉड एंड ऑप्टेन्स द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ डिजायर बट इन रियालिटी आई अलोन अरेन्ज दिस बेनिफिट्स सभाभ्य सभापति वो नम आवर एलर्स हु आर एक्सपर्ट्स इन भगवदगीता आर टुडे एंगेज इन वेरियस अदर एक्टिविटीज सो लेट अस स्पेंड टाइम इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ दीज स्लोक आर रिलेवेंट फॉर अस right now the bnys exams are going on and then yoga students internals first internals just got over we often come across the students coming sir we are agitated time is not enough for studies we are involved in so many activities this is a very very common question which we as the teacher community face from the students as students of yoga my personal feeling is these questions should not arise in our mind it's they they are not supposed to arise in our mind why we have learned so much about yoga the definitions of yoga the applications of yoga and the gita which is right through telling about four types of yoga and in how it can be implemented in our daily life and so on the basic definition of the yoga itself yoga karma shu kaushalam dexterity in action is yoga skillful action is yoga how do we apply that if we are regular in our classes if we are attentive in the classes if we have the habit of studying regularly in our class regularly in the evenings after our classes automatically we will remember we will not get agitated during exams we don't have time to study because we accumulate everything to the last moment that is not the skillful way of attempting the exam if you only do burning the midnight oil and then study overnight yes you may be able to vomit what you studied on the exam paper on your answer script but then it will not retain to you you have vomited it out it will not be with you it's of no use for you so skillful action in yoga means practicing what we have learned what we are learning all through and adopting to our daily life to our activities they nothing like a mundane activities and spiritual activities and professional activity everything is only one we are the ones who are going through that our daily activities we are the ones who are doing professional activities when we go to the offices and we are the ones who are playing when you are in the play field everything is only one activity it just depends on how you face this activity how you prepare to do this activity that is what is yoga as i understand yoga when we study so much about yoga when we 
when we cannot implement it, then it's not going to be any beneficial for us. Small example to understand this. You know, a bank cashier, every day he deals with, you know, crores of rupees, lakhs of rupees. He counts, of course, nowadays we have gone to digitalization, or it's all the online transactions though. But still, when you go to the bank, there's still people who come and then take their cash. He counts so much of lakhs of rupees and then gives to them, takes the money from them. Does it belong to him just because he counts the cash? He handles the cash. It does not belong to him. Only what is there in his account alone belongs to him. Even though he handles crores of rupees in a similar manner. We may have number of things. Bhagavad Gita, 700 slokas. And each one giving different, different perspective, different, different techniques for us to improve. But nothing will belong to us. Nothing will be useful for us unless we have it with us. Just like the cashier can have control over only his bank account, even though he handles crores of rupees, we can make use of these slokas only when we adopt it into our, our system. We internalize these things. Then only they will be beneficial for us. Otherwise, they are like, there are thousands and lakhs, uh, thousands of books in our library. Each one very great product of the greatest of the minds. All in libraries. Will the library be called as a Rishi, Maharshi? No use. Books will be of use when we read, digest it and then use it. Similarly, any amount of reading, any amount of this thing is of no use. Unless we internalize it, unless we practice, put into practice in our daily life. So, coming back to the exams. Never ever get perturbed because of the exams. And learn to be regular in your studies. Yoga, Abhyasa and Vairagya are repeatedly stressed n number of times in Bhagavad Gita as we have seen it. We have repeated so many times. Abhyasa yoga na tato mamichaptam dhananjaya. So many times we tell that. Abhyasa. Eating, writing, eat, or talking, everything comes through Abhyasa. When we were small kids, we suddenly did not learn to speak English sentences. How many times our parents have painstakingly made us tell Amma, Appa, A, B, C. After so many, many times our mothers and fathers have made us do the same thing again and again, we have now learned to speak, learned to understand, learned to write and everything else. So, everything comes from practice. Practice makes a man perfect, they say in English. So, practice. Whatever we little we learn through this Maitri Mila session, Bhagavad Gita sessions, or through our lessons during the day, when we have, we learn to practice. We don't have to know everything, even little. Again, an, ex an analogy to understand this one. When we are hungry, hopefully now you know, are not hungry because we had just breakfast. In, at 8.30. So, when we are hungry, very, very hungry, let us say, we don't require to eat all the dishes prepared all over Bangalore, or at least Prashanti Kutiram. We just need to eat only what is necessary for us to satiate our hunger in a similar manner. We don't have to know. Gita gives you so many, so many slokas and so many uh, techniques we may not be able to learn or implement all of them. Not necessary. Just take what applies to you. What is, what you resonate, what you, your soul and body resonates with that, that you take it, practice it. You'll get the benefit. Thank you. Closing prayer. Om Sarve Bhavant Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashya
पश्यु मशि दुख भावे ओ शांति 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 डॉक्टर पारसर विल व्हाइट हॉल द ब्लैक फेस ऑफ कर नेस्टल वंदे 